Hey guys, welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about the reason why Kirby and I wanted to get wealthy. My story might be different from Kirby's, but Kirby, I'll let you start it off. Oh, I know I was going to be damn sure different. Um, <laughs> uh, so, me, I'm just going to... <laughs> It's funny. I mean, it's funny now that I think about it. Uh, me, I always had these wild dreams. That I'm gonna take over the world, right? But I ain't have two dollars. I ain't have two dollars to my name to even get to the corner store. Must let's take over the world. <laughs> but in truth, the reason why I wanted to become, you know, I pursue wealth. I wanted to become successful was for the simple reason of I didn't want to wonder. Or I didn't want to depend on nobody else to take care of me. I was tired of seeing, you know, just the generational curses, you know, in the legacy of my family of, you know, people not knowing what it's like to own a home, not knowing what it's like to actually sell a home. Usually in my family, the only time uh, we moved to a different location was because we was getting evicted. I didn't want, I wanted something different. And I always got this adage of, you know, when you're raised as a kid, you're going to do the same as your parents or you're going to do something different. Either way, it should be a motivation. I mean, people say the, the parents taught them nothing. Well, they taught they either taught you what to do or what not to do. But it's up to you to put that put that uh, knowledge to work. But yeah, I mean, I saw the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. I saw robbing Peter to pay Paul. I saw you know, borrowing money for Christmas and holidays and Thanksgiving. I saw all of that and I didn't want that in my life. So that's what I, you know, that's what I pursued on. And then early in my life, in my, you know, early twenties, I was going right down that rabbit hole. I was going down right down the rabbit hole of, of, you know, paycheck to paycheck, maxing out credit cards, pushing um, auto loans to the end of the payment. Cause I couldn't afford the, the monthly payment. I was down that rabbit hole. And I said, I wanted to change this. For me, but later later on, I wanted my kids to have something to to be proud of their father for doing. I didn't want it to be, you know, how I look, you know, at my parents and say, oh, now I just have a whole bunch of things not to do. You know, I wanted my kids to have footsteps to follow, you know, a blueprint to follow to keep going on to increase and build on what we have. But that's my purpose of doing it. Alex, what you got? Yeah, I think. Uh, that's part of the reason why I wanted to do it was for independence and I mean partially connected with that um, I did it for a selfish reason which was pretty much to prove people wrong I guess to prove my family wrong um, and those around me and what I mean by it is my you know just like any other family most families it's just typical you know what society teaches it's you have to go to college to be successful. If you don't go to college, you're going to be like everybody else, mediocre. You're going to be a loser. And you can, you know, buying a house is only something you can do when you're in your 40s or your 50s. You know, it's not expected uh, to be able to travel, to be able to have your own freedom from, you know, from a job. You know, all these things are desires I think everybody wants, but they don't think enough on it to believe that it's achievable. And so when, you know, as my story, as I've said multiple times on this channel, when I started thinking differently at 18, it wasn't like I just turned 18 and had like a magic spell changing the way I think of things. It was just I came out of high school and I just immediately wanted to prove everyone wrong. But I had a real I had reality hit me. I had a realization in my mind, which was if I want all these things, if I want to be able to buy properties while I'm young, if I want to be able to travel wherever, whenever if I want independence from a job. And that was a big one too, independence from a job. If I want all those things, then I need to get to work. I need to not be, I need to not give myself any excuses and I need to just focus on work. And that was something that I noticed separated me from everyone else, which was I was willing to go more above and beyond than my peers, than my family, than everyone who said that those things weren't attainable. And it was simply because they didn't have the same work ethic. And 
So with that, you know, when I say going back to my point on independence from a job, that was my other biggest goal was I thought if I can achieve independence from a job, then I won't need to depend on anybody. So I think coming out of high school, kids are still slightly dependent on their parents. They're still slightly dependent maybe on their siblings, you know, and I see it within my family. Everyone's helping each other, you know, oh, I'm short a couple of dollars. I need help with this. Oh, this came up. Can you please watch my kid? This came up. I need help doing this. I didn't want to be dependent on anybody at all at all because if i don't depend on you there's no power you hold over my life and that goes to the point of being an employee as well if you're independent from a w-2 job from any job it doesn't have to be w-2 but if you're independent from any job then not only does not only are you independent from your family in every aspect but not even a job can hold you down to control you in your life that was my way of thinking. Yeah, and I mean, it's different strokes for different folks, but if somebody's saying they don't want success, they're lying, I believe, I truly believe. The reason why, the motivating factor why, it don't matter, as long as you're motivated to do it. But Alex, I think you, you brought up a good point of saying that you wanted to prove people wrong. The thing that they was taught growing up is not the reality. Anybody can get to success. Anybody. I mean, I know, I literally know people that work and make two hundred, $300,000 a year. And I also know somebody that, of course, they're in a manager position at McDonald's, but work at McDonald's and the person at McDonald's that's only making 60, 70 a year has more money in the bank than somebody's making two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 a year. I literally know that. I mean, like... I tell you, uh, when I was when I was younger, I used to, you know, I thought I was the next uh, Steve. I mean, Phil Ivy. I said Steve Ivy. Phil Ivy. And I thought I was gonna be this poker world champion. And I used to see guys with ultra good paying jobs. I mean, mid to high six figure jobs. And I mean, they wouldn't even have ten thousand dollars in the bank. And I'm sitting here looking like you make all this money. I mean, I was still. A novice at finances but you make all this money and you don't you don't even have ten thousand dollars in the bank so it's i mean that's the thing and i never wanted to be that person I, I never wanted to be a person that had to work to make this because of course they work in mad hours but i didn't want to be i didn't want to not have the ability to afford what i wanted to do and what i i mean of course it evolved over the years i just wanted to invest more invest more invest more invest more and then they went to, you know, buying businesses, then real estate or what have you. But I never wanted to be in a position where I say, hey, I'm worth this or I make this, but I can't afford to do that. So just different factors of just going through my life that I've seen a lot of things that I didn't want to be a part of. It was it was rare that i seen things that, like, oh, I want to be like that. I mean... Of course, I always bring up Dave Ramsey, but I just wanted to have the ability to not be a slave to debt because that's what I've seen my whole life, generations before me, the same thing. And then when I used to bring up getting out of debt to my family, they looked at me crazy like, boy, you always going to have debt. What are you talking about? Because they believed that was the norm and I didn't want to be in the norm. And so, I mean, now I do have debt, but it's all investment debt, no commercial debt and stuff like that. But the only thing they ever knew was just commercial debt, retail debt, uh, debt, credit cards, and consumable crap debt. So I just wanted to change the the view and outlook for my family that there's alternative to what we've been beating to our heads was the norm. All that means said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Let us know down in the comment section what you think and what your thoughts are. If you're on a path to success, what inspired you? Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.